Good morning, everybody. I'm very glad to be here. Well, I would like to talk about the uh, power from space, but my title is now, as shown here, the velocity of ideas, because TED is a group of many ideas, not only the presenters, but also the audience also has a many, many good ideas. An exchange of ideas means something. Not only uh, say talk to each other, but also you are stimulated with many ideas. So I'll talk about the velocity of ideas today. <coughs> so you have uh, lots of idea people, and I'm very glad that you are here to exchange and to listen to and talk to. <coughs> now, when I say that idea of velocity, velocity means time and distance, and also direction. These three elements is very important. And concerning the time, now let's think about the reaction time. Time is very reasonably quick. As you see here, everything is very quick, and made quickly, and used quickly, and responds quickly, almost with the speed of light. Say, so those ideas go around the world. Of course, among you, and among the ordinary people, and among governments. But we have to think, this kind of, say, lifetime span, for example, of a goods convenience to, in the convenience store, it lasts only three weeks, on the average, only three weeks. Everything is changing so quickly. So quickness is, of course, a key element of exchanging ideas. However, say, let's see, you are every day probably taking out a good and pushing a goodie, keys, every day, very fast. It's almost like speed. However, I would like to urge you to think about the point of arrival of your action, reactions without a target, without destinations, just, just moving by emotion and by information, flooding information, sometimes leads you to a worse directions. I showed here, the, isn't the distance to the point of arrival rather short? That is the basic question that I have. You are moving, but uh, our goal recently is becoming shorter and shorter. Say, a businessman thinks about the time scale would be one year, or at most three years. And daily behavior of the ordinary citizen probably week, or three days, or tomorrow, or now. The government, they used to be think about the one year, or two years, or several years. But recently, if you look at the governments in the world, they change their direction very quickly, probably in three months, or six months. Is that all right? I don't think it's right. We have to say, have to look at the true goal. For example, here you are in Kyoto. And Kyoto was burned down totally in the late 15th century. But people, however, started to restore Buddhism temples or big temple, big, big uh, cultural structures in the long run, in the long run, 300 years. They had a scope of long scale, 500 years, 300 years. Not only in Kyoto, as you see here, Sagrada Familia, it's not well known, very, takes very long time. The pyramids took an enormous time. And the Great Wall of China, also took a long time, and Uncle Wat, not exceptions. So people in the past used to be look forward with a very long time scale, not light speed, not instantly moved. So we have to think about the destinations. And speaking of quality of life, it's a vertical scale quality of life, and this horizontal scale is a time, and people believe Modern people, including you, 
believe that the sustainability, so sustainable society will be reached in a soon. So everything is going better and better, but to stay at certain very good, rich and stable world. But it's not true. If we look at the population growth, it's almost exploding. Three people a day increasing in this world. Now total population is over seven billions. And in the coming uh, 40, 50 years, it reaches 10 billion people. And the growth rate of the population is exponential, very quick. So uh, resources are getting down. So someday, we'll have a dec decline. That means worsening speed is much faster than improving speed. And I show this. The right-hand side is me when I was born in 1943 or two. That's what, that may be wrong, too. <laughs> and my granddaughter, Eriko, born 201. The span of these two figures is almost 60 years. So 60 years, 60 years, 60 years are visible, visible, right? Very short. <laughs> it's a gene, but, you know, this kind of a short time scale even cannot be thought salary in the world now. So we have to think, say, taking into account the time scale and the destinations, we have to again reactivate of uh, action towards better life. For example, energy, conservations, improvement, and new has been tried many times. For example, atomic power, nuclear power, is good, was good, was thought to be good because it's carbon, free, carbon dioxide free, CO2 free, and base low 24 hours available, and technology based. So it's been, say, developed. However, as you know, Fukushima nuclear power accident unfortunately happened. So I thought that we have to think about the other stable, gigantic scale and 24 hour operation energy. That might be an energy source from outside our planet, external energy. That's a solar power stations. This view, we launch very gigantic solar cells in space and that's carbon free and 24 hours base load power and very large, like one gigawatt, this view. And the collective power is down, is it, directed towards Earth by microwave. And of course, just say a dream is almost meaningless for us academicians. So we have tried the development of technologies. For example, this is antennas and phase, phase array antennas by which we can beam down very accurately the power towards our target. For example, if this technology is available, say, even in a disaster case, we can send the power, necessary power, to anywhere by airship. We have done already this kind of experiment. And also, we have a power grid in space. We can send power anywhere in Japan. Very robust power. We can instantly, electronically, beaming down the necessary electric power to the ground. I have done many experiments, rocket experiments in the first in the world, an airplane flown by the electric power from the power from the ground by microwave, etc. So my personal long target is the cultivation of a civilization covering whole solar systems. Then we can overcome many issues in the coming days. So direction of ideas is very, very important. You have to think about not only the speed, but also the direction, that the velocity of speed, speed, velocity of ideas. This slide shows our attitude, philosophy changes, contentment with what you have has been the basic philosophy of Eastern world, in Japan, including Japan. So this kind of philosophy is necessary 
to elongate the time which is necessary for the development of the new technology. So both two combinations are very important. So conclusion is don't be drowned in ideas. Don't be driven instant information reactions. The more time, the more space to bring your ideas. So substance is very important. Essential. What is essential is what you can. You can. I saw that you can. I, I draw, I drew you can here, but to tell you the truth, I believe no you can't. Unless those people with plenty of ideas spread their intelligence to the all over the world. That's my conclusion. Thank you. <laughs>